Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, for his mercy. It is the mercy of the Lord that we are not consumed. It is not by our doing. It is not by our righteousness. It is not by our way of life. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the praise. If God should judge by our way of life, many of us will not be here. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Let's worship him. Let's thank him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray. Let's thank God for the church. The Lord, we thank you for your church, for the church is marching on. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing and what you shall continue to do. In the name of Jesus, can we pray? Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for your church. Let's pray, let's pray. Father, we thank you for your church. We thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for, for Christ Evangelical Ministry. We thank you for the church. We thank you for your church is marching on and the gate of hell will not prevail over her. In the name of Jesus, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing, for what you will do, for what you have done in the name of Jesus. Let's thank the Lord. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. You alone is worthy of praise. You alone is worthy of honor. You alone is worthy to be adored. Father, we give you all the praise. Jehovah, we worship your holy name. Father, we worship your holy name. Father, we worship your holy name. Jehovah, we give you the praise. Jehovah, we give you the praise. We thank you for, for Christ evangelical ministry. Let's thank him for every member. That Lord, we thank you for every member of the church. We thank you for there is no for there is no evil reported concerning anyone. Father, we thank you for your protection. Lord, we thank you for your provision. Father, we thank you for all that is going on in the world today. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your grace. In the name of Jesus, shall we thank the Lord? Shall we thank the Lord? Shall we thank the Lord? He says, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Which is the topic we are currently treating. That Lord, I thank you, Lord, from my heart. We thank you, Lord, from our heart. We thank you, Lord, from our heart. We thank you, Lord, from our heart. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the church. We thank you for your provision. Let's thank him for every project that is before the church will be accomplished in the name of Jesus, that none of them will be aborted in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for you who have started a good work, will perfect it until the day of your coming. You will perfect and sustain it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. For you who have started a good work in our lives, in your church, will perfect it. Until the day of your coming, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray that Lord, come and touch me. Touch me, Lord, touch me. That Lord, touch me. Touch me today. That Lord, as I have come before you, Father, touch me in the name of Jesus. Let me not go back the same way I came. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let me see your glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let me see your glory. Let me see you. Lord, touch me in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let me see your glory. Touch me. Let's open our mouth and pray. That Lord, touch me. He said, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. 
it. Our Lord, open your mouth. Open. He says, "Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it." Lord, touch me. Touch me. Father, touch me. Touch me. Lord, touch me in the name of Jesus. He said, "As many of them that appeared in Zion, he says they were strengthened, that none of them went to sin." Our Lord, touch me in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch me. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Lord, fill me. Fill me. Fill me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, fill me in today's service. Lord, fill me. Lord, let me see your glory. Let me see your glory. Let me see your power. Let me see your power. Let me see your might. In the name of Jesus. Let me see your might. Let me see your power. Have a father, have a father. Oh, my soul, can calm me, Lord. Lord, let me see your power. I pay so many. Lord, let me see your power in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, Lord, let me see your power. Let me see your glory. Ah, Kaba Boshi Tabino. Lord, let me see your power in the name of Jesus. Let me see your glory in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that, Lord, before the end of this year, Lord, let me see you. Even before the end of this year, let me see you in every area of my expectation, wherever I've been looking up to you. Father, Lord, it does not take God eternity to do eternal things. God is beyond eternity. It's just a second. God does not need, it does not need a month. It does not need a day. It does not take him forever to do what will last forever. Father, Lord, do that which consigns me in the name of Jesus. Perfect me. Lord, perfect me. Perfect your work in my life. Let this, let this month not go. Let this year not end without you perfecting your work in my life. He said, he who has begun the good thing will perfect it. He, what he has started, that Lord perfect it. Not, Lord, Lord, that this year will not go. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Kaba Boshi Tabino. Hefateme no Tobina. Lord, oh, Messi Beteme. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We worship your holy name. We worship you. Can we begin to thank him for answered prayers? Father, Lord, we thank you for answered prayers. We worship your holy name. Jehovah, we give you all the praise. Jehovah, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We thank you for whatsoever we ask. For when we pray in your name, you say you hear it us. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way in our midst this morning. Let your name be glorified. Let your power be known. In the name of Jesus. Jehovah. Can we begin to wave those hands to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? And let's worship Him in the beauty of His holiness. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We worship your holy name. We worship your holy name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Lord. Ah, Lord, Lord. And I my voice. 
soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine, oh, and I will call, and I will call upon you, and lift my heart, and lift my eyes above when ocean rides, my soul will rest in your way. Oh, I am yours, and you are mine. I will call upon your name and leave 
sweet I'd bought it. Let me walk upon the wall wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my feet will be a bit stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me. Spirit, lead me.
think only one person got this thing. My announcement will be very short. But you know, if you're like me, that's so many things have been said by doctors. Who do you trust? Jesus. You know, it's an announcement, but I always look at myself as a living testimony. Pastor Mitchell, you know, when they told me my kidney function is at a certain level, for those of you that are in the health field, you will know. I looked, I looked at the doctor straight in the eyes. I said, you know what? It still will not change anything. I will live to my ripe old age because I trust in him that gave me life. Yes, it's good to medically say all these things, but trust me, wisdom is profitable to direct. Take your medication, do certain things. I'm still here. You know, I told my daughter, and she's like, Dad, are you going to die? Yes, I didn't plan to say this. I said, no, I will die when my time is up. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But I will trust in the name of the Lord my God. I don't know if I'm getting to one person. It's an announcement. I'm not preaching. I'm not the preacher. But I'm getting to one person. And they've told you a million and one things. Most especially health-wise. No. At the Sunday school, we were made to understand. If a witch or wizard killed you, that means God sanctioned it. But at the same time, trust in Jesus alone. Don't trust in the arm of flesh. Because they will fail. They will always fail. You know, I don't know why I'm saying this. Mr. Alok, there's a song you always sing. When it's all said and done, you know, I would love you to sing that song. I was there and the song get, kept coming back. Did I give everything to God? Did I live for him? Or I was busy chasing shadows? At some point when I'm 120, I will die. But where will I go after that? Yes. Only one thing matters. Did I do my best? To live for you, did I live my life for you? When it's all been said and done, all my treasures will mean nothing. All these things matter. Nothing. Only what I've done. One thing. For love. Yes.
the kidney function of 50 percent. I will try to say this. I know I won't die. I know that. But guess what? Even if death comes, I know who I am. So when an opportunity for you to Praise God, come and worship Him, and you think you are invincible. Trust me. Where do you go after that? Don't I look healthy? I know this for one person this morning. Let it get to you. Eternity is what we're all putting for. How do you get there? Chasing shadows? Let's be prioritized. Trust me. We don't have the old time. We are sojourners. You will get to your bus stop. I will too. Mine is not coming anytime soon. That's what I told the doctor. So let's watch you get to 60. That's what he told me. I'll be 60 in six years. But I'll live above 60. Let's not take this God for granted. Sorry I took the old time. We all listen to the same announcement all the time. The same thing. Where is that going to get you? All the announcements. All the money you kept in the bank. The same thing I told the doctor. I said, oh, really? Oh, 50? Okay. Some don't even have kidneys at all. And they are living. So, that don't move me. He said, wow, you're very stubborn. I said, No. I know who I, whose I am. God didn't create me to die at a young age. No. The Bible made us understand if you died at 70, you're young. Let my testimony get to you. Stop chasing all these things. They will perish. Where will, you, where will your soul be? I'm an orphan. No father, no mother. But I have God. It's an announcement, but I chose not to announce. Because we go through the same rhetoric all the time. Oh, we do this, we do this. Okay, fine. But what are you doing concerning your heavenly home? Trust me, the day the last breath goes, you're done. There is no I'm going back. Sorry, I took. We all know Pastor announced last week, you know, it's a very private, private person. So Carlos, you know, loves to die. He actually told me this morning he's been buried. But at the same time, don't just say, ah, sorry for Papa Christian. No. Be a channel of blessing to him. Please. Be a channel of blessing to him. Blessing time. Like I said, we go through the same announcements all the time. If you ask someone sitting next to you, when is when is uh, last Friday of the month? They will tell you next week. Just past this Friday. So we already, so why do you, you know, I, I don't feel like saying the same thing again. Blessing time. Offering time. Let's give uh, Kasha Press a minute. She allows God comes. PayPal us a minute. She allows God comes. We have a text limit. She allows God comes. Let's rise up as we give our offering. But before then, let's, Pastor Mrs. Come and bless it for us. Shall we all rise, please? Say we should give our offering cheerfully. It's the month of Thanksgiving, the week of Thanksgiving, so let's be cheerful in our giving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name for all that you have done. 
Father, Lord, we thank you for testimonies. Father, we thank you that we are alive and well. We thank you because you have the final say. And for this cause, we give you all the glory. And that, Lord, we present our offering unto you that it will bless this offering, O God. As many that are looking unto you for one thing or the other, that we pray, you will surprise them, even this very week, in the name of Jesus. We pray as we give that you open barns of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. That you make us a blessing indeed in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will lift up my voice. I will joyfully sing. Not for what you have done for me, but for who you are. You are the reason I live. Melody in my heart. The song that I sing. your seats. Yeah, it is a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Many people want to be here today. It is not by power. I always say this, you know, and I thank God. This is one thing I ask God, even though there's a lot that I see, I don't want to be immune to it and be so sense uh, and be insensitive not to acknowledge God. Yes, there will be so many things you see. You see people on ventilation. You see many people on oxygen. And you just, sometimes you get insensitive to it. You say, oh, it's fine. It's fine. No. My being alive, your being alive today is only by the grace of God. And we should not take it for granted. So every time when we have the opportunity, I say in the presence of God, even in your own private time, driving, Looking at it, you know, just count your blessings. Count your blessings. Name them one by one, and you'll see that the Lord is good. So when we say praise the Lord, let it resound in your spirit. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. We are warming up. We are warming up. We're happy belated Thanksgiving to you all. 
I know you all had great time with family, friends, and all. And some people probably still have leftovers, right? Still have leftovers. Make sure you share those leftovers. <laughs> Don't eat it all by yourself. And you can just look around you this morning. Can't you see a difference? You can see. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. When I walked in this morning, I could not contain myself. I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And my prayer is the Lord will bless each and every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every hands, every prayers, every words that has been, you know, involved in this, the Lord will bless you, will multiply you, it will increase you mightily in the name of Jesus. And not only that, you know, the room back there, the snack room, many of you don't know about it. This has been like some group of people that work together. That's a divine transformation. When you talk about divine transformation, I wish we had a before and an after of that room. That room was a divine transformation. I pray the Lord will answer your secret prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. It will surprise you beyond your expectation in the name of Jesus. So let's, let's keep it. I, I already preached to the children in the back there. I'm like, you know what? Let's keep it the way it, it, it is. I said, let's keep it. This looks beautiful. No marks on the wall and things like that. And they're like, yes, we love it too. So we, hope, we pray it continues. So you help us to help them. We tell them from home and the teachers are also helping us too. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our pastor is on our ministerial assignment. It's a very short one this time. So very soon he'll be, he'll be with us this week by the grace of God. But I just want you to continue uh, praying for him, lifting him up in your closet, wherever, you know, praying over him that the Lord will help him, give him option to deliver the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shall we all rise to our feet? And I want the choir to help him. As we are in the month of Thanksgiving, we should all count our blessings. Give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 high Lord. Holy, 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 high Lord. The elders and angels sing. The rhythm that worship you now, holy, 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 are you Lord, holy, 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 are you Lord, holy, holy.
your neighbor, the Lord has been good. Yes, you can have a seat. Tell them again, the Lord has been good to me. Yes, I am a living testimony of what the Lord has done. And you are a living testimony too. Because if we begin to count many things that you have passed through, if you begin to count spiritual dreams, battles that you've gone through, but here you are still standing. So just to encourage each one of you that the Lord is a miracle worker and he's still working. He's still what? He's still working. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Delay is not denial. He is still working. He is still working. And I assure you that you are next in Jesus' name. Amen. You are next in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. So uh, today I just want to encourage us. Today is our last, fr uh, last uh, Sunday of the month. Yes, and usually on these Sundays we pray you know, and come together. So, um, last Friday was a night vigil. I know probably most of us are still in our Thanksgiving mode. Some of us didn't join, but we had an awesome time. Yes, we did have an awesome time. God doesn't move by numbers, but it's always good to catch it when you are among the children of God. So, I just want to encourage you. Try and remember all these uh, services that we have and all these meetings that we have. We say, iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens iron. And God is no respe respecter of anyone. Praise the Lord. So I'll, I'll try and keep to time and make it really short. I just want to encourage you. Uh, let us open our Bible to Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. And this is what the Lord is putting in my spirit this morning. title is we are the light of the world say we are the light of the world personalize it say i am the light of the world yes amen matthew chapter 5 verse 14 i read ye are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but under a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen, somebody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want you to stay with me here. Praise the Lord. Light. If, they, we, if we come into this room now and the whole place is dark, would you be able to navigate your ways? Can you walk in the dark? No. What is the difference between the, 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 the day and the night? Is the light. Talk to me. Is light, yes. Light is the opposite of darkness. When we've been bought with the precious blood of the Lamb, it says, ye are not of your own. You are not of your own anymore. I am not of my own anymore. He said, we are the light. The light, like I said, break a new day. is the rising of the sun. Many of us probably were still juggling with this saving time, saving difference. I am still juggling with it. Because uh, before I go from 6, from 7 to 5, and now by 5 o'clock when I go outside, it's dark. It's like, what is this? It's kind of depressing. Because I want the light. And it's been two weeks or so now, and I have not adjusted. Yes, mentally, I have not adjusted. That is the essence of the light. Light, light illuminates. Light shows the way. Light gives you a, uh, uh, it gives you a pathway. It shows you the way. It guides you. Light, that is what we are. We are light of the world. We are the light, light of the world, brightens. Light is just what it says it, it, it is. It brightens and enab enables others to see. You know, we live in a system, advanced system here, where you don't hear up nepa, up nepa. Hallelujah, somebody. How many of you knows up nepa? 
I know my, my kids don't know of Nepal. <laughs> and uh, good to see all our college students here too. Beautiful faces. Pray the Lord will guide you as you return back in the name of Jesus. Some of them don't know of Nepa, and then I tell them of Nepa, they just look at me like, what are you saying? Yeah, I remember some people when they just, um, I'm one of them too, when you just transition and just come into the country, the first thing that you do is go iron all your clothes. And why are you ironing all the clothes? Because the electricity, they will take the light. And that's what we've been used to. Hey, there is light. Ah, you better go charge your phone. <laughs> go and charge your phone. Go iron the clothes and all these things because there's light. Light is life. Yes. If you are being without light, and that is just the physical, you appreciate light more. Light is life. I was telling one of my uh, son, and I said, um, would you like to go home? It's been a while that you've been home. You just want to go visit. He's like, ah, what? No. When they have light 24-7, then I will go. Yes. And I said, that is the new, that is the new system that we pray for. Amen. Amen. So Jesus is the light. Jesus is what? The light. Shall we open our Bible to John chapter 1? Yeah, some of us, when I say uh, Nepa, some people can uh, relate and some people cannot relate. <laughs> we thank God. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. It says, in the beginning, in the beginning, the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was nothing, was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness was comprehended it not, because Jesus himself was the light. In him is the beginning of all things. He says, in the beginning, the earth was void. It was full of darkness. And he says, let there be light. Why is it that is the first thing he made? Let there be light. Let there be light. It means that there has to be a, a lifting. There has to be a lifting. We talked about, uh, some weeks ago about blind Bartimaeus. And we said some people are spiritually blind. Even though it's just in the physical, we see the light, but spiritually it goes a long way. The first thing is let there be light. Because the light guides, the light paves way. If there is a piece down there now and there is no light, you fall into it. He has to say, let there be light. Because on this light, which is Jesus, is the foundation of all things. Is the foundation of you and I. Is the foundation of a new beginning. It is, he is the light. He said, without him, there was nothing made. So you can never say you are a child of God and don't carry this light. If you are a child of God and you pronounce it, we pronounce it day and, day and night. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. There has to be a reflection of him. You have to be a reflection of him. Sometimes you see couples, they've been living together for like 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. What do you see in them? They kind of look alike, one way or the other. There is no way about it. Yes, they look alike or sometimes they start acting the same way. You can never be with the master and remain the same way. There are people that follow their followers and their disciples. They are different between them. He is the light. He is the light. Now, if we switch this light off, if we switch it off, there is a connection to it. And if you switch it off, you have to connect it back again to turn it on again. Jesus is our source of strength. Jesus is our light. In him, we have the fullness of life. We cannot do all these things by ourselves. We cannot be who we want to be all by ourselves. He says, the things that I want to do, I do them no more. The things that I, my flesh, want to do. He said, that, that's what Paul said. He said, those are the things I begin to do. Because I don't want to do it anymore. But he said, but I am crucified. 
I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, nevertheless, I live. The life that I live now, it is not of my own, but it's because of the master, the light. When you have been in the light, how many of you know about being sunburn? It's a sun kissed. When you've been in the light, then you are, you are sun kissed. You are sun kissed when you've been with the master. When you fellowship with him, when you trust in him, you be part of him. Then you become who he wants you to be. And this should be our goal. Minister, uh, Brother Tokuba just talked about, you know, this and what, what, what is the life after? What is the life after it be, it has been said, all said and done? After you have the biggest house, after you have the, the best job in the world, is it? Six figures, what comes after six figures, seven figures, okay, maybe nine, maybe ten, or whatever it is, you're the richest man in the world. What comes after is what matters the most, the light. Are you the light of the world? Do you shine for others to see? Can others see Jesus in you? We say we are the light of the world. In all that you do, do you, do you reflect the light? Can others see, are you standing for him? Even in the, in the midst of circumstances, he said, what will separate us from the love of God? Could COVID-19 separate you from the love of God? What will separate us from the love of God? Will poverty separate us from the love of God? What will separate you from the love of God? Will persecution separate you from the love of God? Will peer pressure separate you from the lo love of God? Will the fear of being, being among be uh, trending. Give me another word. You want to trend. You want to, 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 to be the one trending. Will that separate you from the love of God? With fear of belonging. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. I want to, want to, want to, want to. Will that separate you from the love of God? With that, what will separate you from the love of God? We are the light. Let us carry the light as we are. We are the light. Do not be afraid of your light. You are the light wherever you go, in your school, at work, at home. Let them see Jesus in you. Let all the see Jesus in us. They say they're reading. There is a hymn that says they're reading your life day in and day out. Let others see Jesus in you. Let others see Jesus in you. How can I be a light? How can you be a light? As we're giving our life to Christ, now I'm talking to people that have given their lives to Christ. It doesn't stop there. He says, stay connected to him. Abide in him. John 15 verse 4. John 15 verse 4. I think you have your Bible. I know we have a projector. It helps us, but then it's always good to have a Bible with you. Hallelujah. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in him. No more can ye except ye abide in me. These are the ways to be a light. This, this light bulb is useless if there is no connection of wires, right? Yes, we are not ourselves. There is nothing we can do by ourselves if we don't abide in him. The tree without being uh, rooted the, the branch and not rooted in the tree and not connected to a source is nothing. It is what? Is nothing. We can do nothing. I can do nothing of myself. You can do nothing of yourself. When we profess ourselves, I want to be the light. People will offend you. <laughs> People will offend you. They will step on you. you, you, say, you they say you are a Christian. Eh? You are a Christian. Oh, really, you are a Christian. They won't tell you that face to face that you're a Christian. They will tempt you. They will come accuse you. They will come and say wrong things to you just to see your reaction. Yes. So if we are not connected, stay connected to the source. Tell your neighbor, say, stay connected to the source. Stay connected to the source. They say, abide in me and I in you. See, there are times that we pray and we pray, we pray for deliverance. Oh, come and pray for deliverance. It is your, the wishes in your father's house, the wishes in your mother's house. This is the one that has been chasing you. But when you are connected, you become a firebrand. You become what? A firebrand. You yourself become terror to the kingdom of darkness. You yourself, you become terror to the kingdom of darkness. When you are in the 
light. You yourself become the light. And it says that the word cannot comprehend it. So who is that which is when you yourself carry light? Praise the Lord. There is this adage, uh, is this Shogota? Hello? Songo is like a kind of a god or something, is a deity that they put hot thing on their head. When you carry fire, who looks at you? Who is the one? Who dare you? Because you carry the light. So when we're preaching and we pray, pray and pray, let us pray right. And let us get to the foundation and know who you are. Say, I carry light, though. I carry fire. Hey. Yes, you carry light, though. Beware. Beware. So let us put our money, our money where our mouth belongs or wherever they say it is. When you carry light, be as light. Do not only carry fire to bombard the enemy because the enemy will test you. Hello? Hello? He will test you. But carry this light in your character. Carry this light in all in your working, in your dealings with people. Be fruitful. Be truthful. Say, be a person of integrity. Yes, there are so many people that say, oh, they are, and they call themselves Christian. They dupe people. They call themselves Christian. They 419. They dupe people. When it comes to money, they cannot be straightforward. Put your money where your mouth belongs. If you profess Christ, be Christ like. Be like him. Be who he has called you to be. We can pray down to fire. Turn this place upside down. Put your leg up and put your head down. Be the light. Tell someone, be the light. I said, con connect to him. Abide with him. Abide, he can do nothing except you abide in him. What is your source? What is your source of strength? In your closest, when it all seems like there is nothing, when it seems like you have no strength, it seems like there is no hope, who do you call to? Him. And number two, saturate yourself in the world. Saturate yourself in what? In the world. In the word of God. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Yes, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. You know, uh, Thanksgiving just passed. I know many of us marinate. We did what? We marinate. Even if you don't uh, eat turkey, there's some people don't. But when you marinate meat, fish, or whatever it is, what comes out of it is saturated with some what? Some goodness. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. It saturates with what? Some goodness. Some seasonings. Some maggi. I put maggi in mind. I don't care. It's the Africanized turkey. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I put maggi in it. I put some herbs in it. I put a lot of goodness and some goodness in it. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. It is the first time that I even fried turkey and I love it. Yes, yes, yes. For you to, yes, do come over. <laughs> yes, I love it. And for you to know that they really love it, it was gone. The very first time, gone the first day. All right, let's go back to where we are. <laughs> Light, you are the light of the world. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Saturate yourself. Marinate yourself in the word. Let the word of God be in you. That when you are squeezed, situation of life will squeeze you. Trials of life will squeeze you. When you put a clothes or washcloth or towel in water. Because it's been saturated in that water and you take it out. What is going to drip? Water. Yeah, when you reach, enrich yourself, enrich your life, your world, your children, all that you have in that situation, they said this is what is going to be it. You carry your Bible, you pray on it, you pray on it. You speak the word of God over your life. Speak that word over your life. That this is the promises of God consigning me. Because you are light. 
Let the word of God dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, in all teaching, admonishing one another, be an encourager to someone else, help someone else, lift someone up. The light, when light, when another light, see another light. Does that light fight the other light? Does another light fight another light? No, the light illuminates brighter. It does what? It shines brighter. And it shines brighter. Encourage one another. Lift each other up. Encourage one another because we are all light and we have one goal. And it is what to shine. It's not that you, you want to shine more than me. Oh no, you, it's not going to happen. The light will not say the other light, you cannot shine past me. Who does that? No. That is the children of darkness. The spirit of jealousy. In the, in the children of light, when you marinate yourself with the word of God, you become the word. When you marinate yourself with the word of God, you saturate yourself with the word of God. There is no report. There is nothing that they give you that threatens you. You might be anxious for a little bit, but you say, I know whose I am. I know whose I belong. I know the word of God concerning me. I will not fail. I will prosper. I will not die. The promise of God concerning me shall surely come to fulfillment. Yes, you are the light. Yes, you are the light. You are the light. We are the light. Saturate yourself with the word of God. Give yourself to prayer and the ministry of the word. It says, faith comes by hearing. Here we are hearing the word of God. And you're, you're, the, when you, you know when we come to church on Sunday, it's just like you're coming to refill your gas. You come and refill your gas. You cannot run on empty gas. And not only on Sundays, whenever you are in the car, whenever you have your private time, cultivate the habit of spending time in his presence. That is not only when you come to church. Cultivate, have a prayer altar. You know, it's a, it's a relationship. It is, not a, <laughs> it is not a one night stand. Hallelujah. It is not what? A one night stand. It is not a one-time offer. It is not uh, a Black Friday deal, but it's seasonal. It is not what? It's not seasonal. It is not a Black Friday deal. Yes, many of you did Black Friday shopping. It's not seasonal. It's a relationship. It is not when I feel like. It is not when I... You know what? God has been good to me today. Let me come to church. Or no, I have a testimony. Let me just come and fellowship with the children of God. It is not seasonal. There is more that we can have in Christ. Depends on how we walk with him. Saturate yourself with the word. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Number three, speak the truth. Speak the truth. This can be very, very challenging. Praise the Lord. It says that the light reveals the truth. You speak the truth. When you are light, you speak the truth. You are silent. Speak the truth. It can cost you some time. Speak your truth. While you're speaking, you light your world. When people know that you're a person of the truth, a person of integrity, just like I said earlier, you're lighting your world. People see you, you stand for the truth. People see you, they know you will not compromise. People see you, they know that this person stands for the truth. You speak the truth. You stand for the truth. Your circle becomes smaller. Hallelujah. Your circle becomes what? Smaller. You know, sometimes we, want, we like the big crowd. Everybody is your friend. When you speak the truth, everybody is not your friend. When you what? When you stand for the truth, everybody is not your friend. When you speak the truth, everybody is not your friend. Because the truth reveals. Because if you're a person of truth and you walk in your truth, you cannot mingle with people, or be, with people that are evil or people that work in darkness. And you already know those fruits of darkness, those plants of darkness, evil. There is jealousy. There is wickedness. There is uh, backbiting. There is uh, gossiping. Things that does not glorify God. Those are the things that the power of darkness. See, power of darkness is only when you see wishes. Hello? <laughs> the works of darkness are the works that does not glorify God. Works that are, does not glorify God. Living a life of sins. 
does not glorify God. This is a life of darkness. The things that you cannot open lights to where others, what is it that you do in your closet where nobody is there? What, I, what is it that I do in my closet when no one sees me? These are the words that I'm talking about. Light your world. Be truthful to yourself. He said to thyself, be truth. If someone is deceiving you, if someone deceiving another person, if you're deceiving another person, you yourself, you know that what you are lying. Hello? Yeah, the person we don't know, but you yourself, you know. To thyself, be truth. Be a carrier of the truth. Like I said, your, your, your circle will be smaller. Because you stand for the truth. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 7. First Timothy 2, 3 to 7. Let me try to watch this. First Timothy chapter 2. Are you with me? If your neighbor is sleeping, tell them, wake up. Wake, wake, wake. Wake them up. Wakey, wakey. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. And uh, continue, sir, verse 4. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? The knowledge of the truth. When you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. And the truth is Jesus. He says, I am the life, the truth, and the life. He is the way. He is all in all. And verse 5. For there is one God. This is our truth. And one mediator between men and between between men and men of Christ, between God, Jesus. This is our truth. What is the knowledge of the truth? That there is one God. What is the knowledge of the truth? That all men should come to the knowledge of the truth. That Christ is the light. Jesus is our message. Jesus is the message. Jesus is the answer to the world's problem. Jesus is the answer. He is the peace. He said, the peace that I give at you is not as a peace that the word give at you. He said, peace be still. Jesus is the answer for the world today. You cannot keep quiet when you have this truth. Hallelujah. You cannot keep quiet when you have this truth. Stay with me just a few minutes. You cannot keep quiet when you have this truth. The woman at the well, she said, come and see in John chapter 4 verse 29. He said, come and see this man that are telling me all my life history. Come and see this man that are telling me everything that I've done because he is a man of the truth. When, when you have this and you have an encounter with him, you cannot keep silent. It is just like someone that just had a baby. Can you keep quiet? Can you keep quiet when you just have a baby? If you've been looking for this job and you have this job, can you keep silent? Oh my God, social media, they are in trouble. Hey, <laughs> they say, them go feel it. They will know today. Like today is today. I just got a new job. There is that excitement. What is your excitement since you've known Christ? Are you spreading this word? Are you telling others about it? Are you telling others, come and see the one that has shown me the way? Are you telling others about it? Or are you, are you shy? Or you don't even want people to know that you're in the presence of God? How much do you carry your God? And then you want him to fight for you. Hallelujah. He says, I will honor those that honor me. How do you carry this God? We just come to him seasoner. Today, I need money. God, give me money. He said, Father, Christmas, Santa Claus, Christmas is coming. This is what I want. And this is my list. And if you can do this and do this, and what are we giving in return? Be the light. Speak the light. Spread the light. Tell others about him. I have seen one that has been good to me. Say, this God is too good to me. You're not going to be selfish about it. You're going to spread the news, the good news. That the knowledge of the truth, that this is the true God. They will shut you up. They will silence you. But don't keep shut. Preach him in your neighborhood. Tell others about him. Let your life, your character. Don't be the one they greet in the morning that you can't even open your mouth to say good morning. How can you even preach the word? Yes. In character. Don't be silent about it. Reach the dying world around you. The woman at the well, she did not stop there. She told others about him and they came to the knowledge of the truth. Number four, we round with this, shining by living. You shine your light by living it. You shine what? Your light by living it. 
You live your truths. You shine your light. Do not dim your light. Do not dim your light. The gift of God over you is a light. The glory of God over your life is a light. It should not be dimmed. The first time they called the Christians was in Acts uh, in Antioch. That was Acts chapter 11 verse 26. They said, because these have been with Christ. Have you been with Christ? Do you reflect him? Can they say this is a church goer? Can they say she is a Christian? Can they say he is a Christian? He said they have been with Christ and they were followers of Christ. Let us, when we pray, when we preach and preach, let us stand for what we stand for. Let us be a doer of what we stand for. They have been with Christ, and that's why they are Christ-like. That was the first place they call Christians. Christians is not just a religion or I come to church every Sunday. They are Christ-like. It is a lifestyle. It is a continuous process. And that is why we need the power of the Holy Spirit. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. Say, Lord, help me. I want to be the light that you made me to be. I want to be the light in this dying world. I want to be the light in my school. I want to be the light in my work. I want to be the light that tells others about Christ. I tell you, it is a hopeless world. Some people you never know, maybe he's going to kill himself this very second. But you, the way you pro the way you bring yourself to him or bring yourself to her. Tell others about the good news. Even sometimes you don't have to preach. They just say like, what is your secret? You're always happy. You always have this thing about you. You're always smiling. You tell them, Jesus is the story. Jesus is my story. Jesus is my story. He is all and all because all that you have, you see in him. Except we abide in him. Followers, followers of Christ, they love on each other. Followers of Christ, they, work, they love on each other. They are led by the Spirit. They are not easily offended. Hello, somebody. They are not easily offended. Hey, you step on my toes. You didn't see me coming. Okay, can't you go this other way? Why is it that you have to come this side all the time? Hi, somebody. They are not easily offended. They are not easily offended. They don't cause offense. And uh, lastly, let us open to Philippians chapter 2. They are not easily offended. See, when you come to a place where you see yourself, you know, we can be all uh, sensitive at times. When you see yourself that you're counting and begin to count offense or you're easily irritated, go back to the word. See how much time are you spending on the word? When you don't saturate yourself with the word, something else will saturate you. When you don't replace yourself with the word, something else will saturate you. Because then what is your focus? It says looking on to Jesus. When you're looking on to Jesus, you don't even care. Somebody even step you, you have become numb. You become what? Numb. You don't feel it anymore. I, I, I mean, I don't encourage people abuse. And I don't, I mean, I encourage for you to set boundaries, healthy, healthy boundaries. But counting offense overly and overly and overly again, you have lost focus. Praise the Lord. Philippians chapter 2, and I round with this 2, verse 3 to 5. Praise the Lord. Are you with me? Are you still with me? Say, be the light. Carry the light. Be the light that he has called you to be. Let nothing be done with strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem one another than themselves. Go, continue verse 4. Look not unto every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. In verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. And what is that mind? The mind of humility. It carries light. You know, uh, when you carry the light, you don't have to make noise. You don't make noise. You are, you are, you are seen. You are recognized. You are seen because you, who can say there is no light? Who will say that there is no light here? You come in, except if the person is blind. 
But when you see it, you see it. When you let the mind of Christ be in you, is the mind of humility. When he was here, he put down all his glory. And, his two, and he put everything down just for us. And puts his glory down. Puts all the powers, all the recognition he's, he has. He put it down. And he went through the cross for us. He went through the cross for us. He went through the cross for us. He said because of this, he was made a curse. He was made a curse. Because curse is the one that is hanging on the tree. He was made a cross for you and I. He put down all his glory. He, he could say by the word, because he himself is the word, is the power, is the light. He could tell them be destroyed. He could just say vanish. And all of them, you just see them, they evaporate. You, you don't think he could do that? Yes. But because he has a goal, because he has a goal, and what is the goal? The redemption. His goal is salvation. His goal to save you and I. So let this mind be in you. It's a mind of humility. It's a mind of putting yourself down as the light. The light does not make noise. The light is just trans it illuminates. It's very soft, soft-spoken. You allow the light of God, you allow the light of God to shine through you. you be a reflection of you. Others see you and glorify your Father. And that is what that verse says, that others may glorify your Father. That wherever you go, you shine the light. Wherever you go, you shine the light. When others see you, they see Christ in you. Shall we all rise up? That when others see me, they see Christ. When others see you, what do they see in you? When others see you, what do they see in you? What do you, what do you carry? What do you carry? There's that thing that says, what is in your wallet? What is in you? What is in you? Say, Daddy, Lord, help me this morning, oh God. But I will ask for the grace to be the light of God. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Open your mouth, begin to pray, begin to pray. Say, Daddy, Lord, I need your grace. But Lord, I need your Holy Spirit, oh God. Holy Spirit is only through this you can do it. Say, Daddy, Lord, I need the Spirit of God upon my life. I need the Spirit of God because as many that are sons and daughters of him, he's giving the power to become. Say, Daddy, Lord, I need the power of the Holy Spirit, oh God. The power of the Holy Spirit to be the light. The shining light, even in this death, in, in this evil world. But Lord, help me to be the light, oh God. But help me to be the light. But help me to carry the light, the light of Christ, the light of God in my life, the light of God in all that sees me, that others will see me and they see light. That I illuminate others, I encourage others, I lift each others up. In the name of Jesus, open your mind. Ask for the power of the Holy Spirit. Ask for the power of the Holy Spirit. How many of you are? hunger. How many of you are thirsting for this new experience? It's a new experience because after all, it is all done. After all, it is all done. Will he say, welcome home my servant? Will he say, welcome home my servant? Say, Daddy, Lord, help me, oh God. Father, Lord, help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. When the role is called up yonder, I will be there. When the role is called up yonder, it is the life that you live that counts. The life that you live for Christ. Christ, your truth that will stand, your life that will stand. How are you illuminating your world? How are you illuminating your circle? Are you standing for the truth? Say that the Lord help me, oh God. But oh Lord, I am dying, oh Lord. I have heard your voice, oh God. But oh Lord, draw me nearer to you, oh God. Lord, I want to be the light. I want to be the light. I want to be the light. Because in the light, the darkness comprehended not. The darkness comprehended not. Lord, help me to be the light, oh God. But Lord, help me to be the light, to shine brighter, to shine brighter, to shine brighter. In the mighty name of Jesus, as for the power of the Holy Spirit. As for the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because this is who we stand for. This is all the story about Christianity. This is your stand. This is who you are. This is who you are. Christ-like living. Say that, Lord, help me this morning, oh God. Father, Lord, help me, oh God. Father, Lord, help me. Daddy, Lord, help me, oh God. Lord, I renew my consecration with you. 
Oh, open your mind, say, Lord, I renew my consecration, oh God. He says, let this mind be in you. Let this mind be in you. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. When you carry light, you become fire. When you carry the light, you become fire. When you carry the light, you become fire. You become terror to the kingdom of darkness. Open your mind right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I carry light. I carry light. The light of God is in me. The light of God. God is in me. The light of God is in me. It is a new day. It's the dawning of a new day. Lord, I carry the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the light of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, you carry the light. You carry the light. The light of God is upon you. The light of God is upon you. It is a new day. It is a new day because you carry the light. I want you to begin to prophesy the word of God into your life. Begin to prophesy the word of God into your season. It is a new season. Say that the Lord, I carry light. But the Lord, I carry light. Every darkness around me, I command you to flee. I command you to flee. Every works of darkness, every work of darkness over my life, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth, and begin to destroy every works of darkness. Because when you carry light, you shine. Everything that is not allowing the glory of God to come to fulfillment over your life, begin to break it right now. Say, because I am the child of light. I am the child of light, oh God. Because God is light. Because God is light. Anything that does not glorify God in your life begins to remove it. Begins to uproot it. Say, everything that does not represent light. Every spirit of darkness. Every power of darkness. Begins to uproot them. Begins to uproot them. Say, I enter into my light. I enter into my light. I enter into a season of shining. I enter into a season of brightness. I enter into my season. I enter into a new season. Into a new season where you shine brighter. Where you shine brighter. The kingdom of darkness will not be able to comprehend it. Say, yes, I enter into my season. I illuminate. I stand. I stand. I stand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power of darkness be uprooted. Be uprooted over your business. Over your business. Over your family. Over your marriage. Over your home. Over your finances. Over your education, every power of darkness, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. In Jesus' name we pray. He says, I carry light. And he said, wherever he went, he was doing good. Because he is the light. When you carry light, there's some things that should not be associated with you. Yes, because you carry this light. We're going to pray that prayer one more time. He said, everything in my life, anything that is not allowing the, the light of God to penetrate, because light penetrates, light penetrates, everything that is distorting and distorting the light of God over your life, say, be uprooted. This is your life, it is your destiny, and with your mouth you pray for it, and you prophesy. Say, I prophesy over my life, anything that is blocking the light of God, be uprooted. Open your mouth, open your mouth, and begin to pray for it, begin to speak it for it. Everything that is in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say be uprooted. Uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, I speak into the life of your people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, anything that does not glorify you, oh God, be uprooted, oh God. I say be uprooted. I say be uprooted. In the mighty name of Jesus, be uprooted. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name we pray. You know, some some people, and this is how the Spirit of God is telling me, people are so discouraged. It's just the spirit is so heavy. I tell you, it is only in him that you have rest. It is only in him that you have this peace. I just want you to pray. Say that the Lord, you, open, you have to open yourself to him. That is just one thing. He says, come unto me, all ye that are labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Say, Lord, I need rest. Lord, I need the rest in my spirit, oh God. He is working, he is working, he is here and he's touching lives right now. Say, Lord, I need your rest. On this case, I need your rest. 
And this, this is for someone I don't know. Say, I need your rest. I need the rest on this. I need your peace on this. I don't know what it is. So for your mouth, say, Lord, I need the rest over this. Is this something else you're having sleepless nights over? I need your rest on this. You know, when you put something in his care, you rest. When you put something in his care, you rest. Say, Lord, I give this to you. Put it at his altar right now. Put it, give it to him. Drop it at the altar. Leave it for him. Say, Lord, I give this to you. Hey! Say, I give you, oh God. I can say, I cannot handle it anymore. I can solve this problem on my own. I can take care of this myself. I give it to you. Open your mouth, say, I give it to you. Whatever it is named, whatever the name they call it, say, I give it to you. Whatever may be the limitation, say, Lord, I give it to you. Whatever it is called, whatever you've been fighting with and struggling with, whatever may be the weakness, whatever may be the addiction, whatever it is called, say, Daddy, Lord, I give it to you. Hey, Lord, I give it to you. You have to be ready to do this. Whatever it is called, whatever the addiction is, is Lord, I release myself. Lord, I release it to you, oh God. Whatever may be the issue, every long-standing problem, Lord, I give it to you. I leave it at your altar this hour, Lord, I give it to you, God. In your home, over your marriage, I give it to you. I give it to you. Over your studies, I give it to you. Yes, Lord, we give it to you, God. Say, Lord, I give it to you. that come to him and go back the same. Lord, we give it to you. Daddy, Lord, we hold in nothing, oh God. We give it to you. Daddy, we lay it at the altar. Lord, we give it to you. Daddy, we drop it off, oh God. We carry our burdens no more, oh God. Father, we carry our, our cares no more. We lay it all at your feet, oh God. Every troubles, oh God. Every fear, every anxiety, oh God. Father, Lord, we lay it at your feet, O oh God. Every discouraged heart, O oh God, we lay it at your feet, O oh God. Father, Lord, every delay, we lay it at your feet, Lord. Daddy, take your place, O oh God. Take your place, O oh God. Father, take your place, O oh God. Father, take your place, O oh God. Daddy, fill every heart, O oh God. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Daddy, fill every heart, O oh God. That it fill every heart, oh God. That it fill every heart, oh God. That we don't want to go back the same. We know it is done. It is done. But I will give you all the glory. Oh, hallowed be your name, oh God. Hallelujah to the King of Kings, oh God. We worship you. Father, Lord, thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for lighting our world, oh God. Father, thank you because you are the light. And there is no one that comes to the Father that goes back the same. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, O oh God. Daddy, we walk in light. We speak in light, O oh God. We carry the light, O oh God. We represent the light, O oh God. And the darkness we not comprehend it, O oh God. Daddy, we become terrors to the kingdom of darkness, O oh God. Because your spirit lives in us. Lord, we worship you. Father, we give you all the glory. Daddy, Lord, I thank you, O oh God. Father, Lord, we worship you. We exhaust your name. I just want you to give him a clap offering. Just give him a clap offering. Give him a clap offering. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done.
Father, we thank you. Can we just bless him? Can we just thank him? Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the entrance of your word. We thank you. Father, we give you the praise. We worship your holy name. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Lord. We are not just shining light, we are also burning light. The more, the more a light is burnt, the more it brightens. Father, we thank you, we worship you. And we pray as we have prayed, that whatsoever that is not of God in our life shall be burnt up in Jesus' name. Amen. They shall be burnt up, they shall be burnt away. And anyone that touches, you know, light shines. You know this old bulb, these bulbs, 100 watt bulb, you cannot take them off with ordinary hands because they will burn you. So also, Christians, nothing, any wretched devil should not be able to touch us and not be born in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are shining as a burning light. As we shine, so we also burn. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We thank you for the entrance of your word. Give us light and understanding. Can we pray for my pastor that the Lord replenish her, the Lord increase more, increase her in the name of Jesus. That more grace, more anointing in the name of Jesus. That the well, the well will, will, will continue to flow. The well will continue to flow. The well will continue to flow. It will, it will be dug. It will dog more and more in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's not forget Wednesday Bible study. You know, my pastor always say that even when you are driving wherever you are, at least you can just switch it on and be listening. It's the word that lives, it's the word that creates. You see, in that Colossians that we read, it says the word of God should do fruit growing in us and it will make our light shine more and more. So death working in us, death work in us that light seen here to the end of us in Jesus' name. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God is good to us all. He has promised to be all the days of our life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we can we go? Hallelujah. 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 H